In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to get started with the MirrorTalk.ai platform. When you log in, it will start you off in your personal space where you can click Start to do an AI-guided self-reflection. If you're using the Mirror device, you can head to the personal space to start an observation video recording. By selecting the drop-down menu where it says Personal at the top, you can create a group to assign reflection activities to your students or for any teachers that you might be working with. When I create, hit new, I can create a group and name my group. For this example, I'm going to pretend I'm a coach that is working with some teachers. I'll select the type of group that I want indicating the level of those participants. So for teachers, I would select adult team. You'll notice there are different access types for the participants. If you have participants log in and view the full dashboard, they will get access to all of their reflection data and the manager will get full access as well. You can allow participants to opt to share their reflection data to the group manager or you can create an open group where participants will not have to enter any information at all. Video will be required to identify participants. You can select the language for the participants. Audio will be required as it is a spoken reflection and you can select if you like video recording on during the reflection as well. You can select to enable or disable the greeting or the hand gesture like a peace sign or a wave at the beginning of the reflection. Once my group is created, I can click set up activity. In the examples tab at the top, you can review some of our pre-created activities that we have here for students and for teachers. You can get started with these simply by clicking Assign. If you click Preview, you'll even be able to make a copy to edit it and make any changes you wish. To customize your own, we'll hit Custom at the bottom. You'll start by adding a title for your activity at the top. This will help you to come back and edit this activity later if you need to. For this activity, I'm going to have my teachers reflecting on student participation and engagement. The most important piece to help customize your reflection and the questions that we generate is by adding the objective of the learning experience. You can either record yourself speaking into your microphone or you can type it in here. You can try phrasing it as teachers will or students will, making sure to add as many details about the learning experience as possible, and even thinking about including phrasing from curriculum standards or teacher evaluation rubrics. By adding this objective, it is going to prompt our AI system to produce reflection questions for you. So once I hit the check, it will start to update the prompts. You can use the choose format and choose focus to help customize the prompts even further. When using the personalized format, this will create a personalized reflection experience for the participant. It will ask them the first prompt here, and then it will generate additional questions based on their first response. When you want to prescribe the questions and set them ahead of time for participants, making sure you know what questions they're getting and that everyone is getting the same questions, prescribed format is what you'll want to use. When you'd like to enter your own questions, the manual format will work best for this.
In the prescribed format, you'll notice that choosing a different focus will additionally customize the question. For example, if I select depth of knowledge, you'll see the questions will change. To you can hit the pen to edit the questions and you can explore different types of questions by choosing different focuses. To further enhance the activity or assignment, you can add an assessment question, which will be presented to the participant after they reflect, or you can add different workspace tools to facilitate collaborative learning experience. These are available on the mirror device only. This will walk through participants any steps or tools that you insert, followed by the reflection questions, followed by the assessment questions. When you're ready to assign your reflection questions, and you'll be able to copy the assignment link and share it with your participants. Once they click the link, they will be added to the group and they'll be able to reflect from the device that they're on. It's important to note that once you assign the activity, that link will be active until another activity is assigned. So ensure that everyone has completed the assignment that you have assigned at that time before going in to create your next activity. If you have further questions about how to navigate Mirror Talk, make sure to reach out to your customer success manager or head to swivel.com for more of our support resources.